Hi, this tutorial will walk you through page 4 of the Wake Tech Community College application for admission. The first section asks you to select your most recent high school you attended. Click the Find button to find the school. You'll notice that there are U.S. states and territories here. There's also a link here that says foreign country. So you can locate the school in another country outside the USA as well. Let's take a look at that option for just a moment. You should click foreign country, then choose the country you're from. We're going to choose Thailand for an example. Now you can choose the first letter of your school. Most of the time there will be none found for, for foreign country schools. So, after three search attempts, you can choose the option at the bottom, not on the list. This option will not show until you search for the school three times, as indicated here. You will then type the school's information in so that you can add the school to the list. Let's do a find again and complete this section for Jane, our example student. First, we will choose the appropriate state. It will create a list of schools for each letter of the alphabet for you to choose from. We're going to choose North Carolina and find Enloe High School. Once the school is found, we will simply select it. Now we will need to fill out the type of school from private school, public school, or home school. Now, select the county of the school. Finally, enter the graduation date or date you last attended. Jane last attended in April 2006. She was on the high school prep college track. If you do not know what track you were on, you can select unknown track. Now we need to know if you graduated from high school. You can select graduated from high school, did not graduate from high school, or I'm currently in high school. You can choose any of those three. Jane did not graduate from high school. The next section is in reference to educational history. We want to know your highest level of education completed. In our example, Jane completed the 11th grade. Now, designate if you received a GED certificate, adult high school diploma, or neither. This is a required field. Even if you have a high school diploma, you may have to put neither in the box. In Jane's case, we will put GED. Now, we need to find the school where Jane completed her GED. To do this, we will click the Find button again. She completed a GED at Wake Tech, so we will find that option. First, we click the Find button and then go to the W's. Find Wake Tech and select it. Most of the information on Wake Tech will populate except the county. Now, we will enter the date completed, which was June 2010. As always, be careful to follow the proper format for all your answers. You can do the same thing if you have attended other colleges. You would click the Find button and find the college and put in the dates attended there as well. We are now ready to submit the application. Click the yellow bar and submit your completed application. It appears we have an error somewhere. It says that I must choose a college or university from the list. The reason for that is, on the first page of the application, I indicated that Jane was a transfer student, which means that she should have attended a college somewhere. Since the system recognized that, I'm going to go back down to the bottom and put in the college I forgot, which was Brunswick Community College. I will search the state of North Carolina and look under B. Once Brunswick Community College is found, I will select it. Jane attended from January 2010 when she graduated 
until the end of fall semester, which ended in December. Now I will try to submit the completed application again. You are now on the final page. Please read the information here and put in your electronic signature. Once that is done, click Submit Now. The application is now complete and submitted. You will now see the application agreement statement, which is your confirmation page. You may want to print this page off for your records in the case that there is any problem with your application uploading. We can use the information to help recover your application. Thank you so much for submitting an application to Wake Tech. We look forward to having you with us soon.